Well, hey, good afternoon. Welcome back to my little gardening show. I wanted to just show you some things I'm working on this afternoon, along with planting the peas. And that's my cold frame. I've had this now for a couple seasons. This was a yard sale find. It's a uh, double-sided cold frame. I can open up both ends prop it open for ventilation can close them lock the lids down at night or on really cold days uh, the only thing that I've uh, added to it is some burlap or shade cloth so that uh, the Sun doesn't scorch my seedlings down there my little plants this is their first day outside and I don't want to overexpose them to the sun. The sun is so powerful um, and the light is a lot more intense than the uh, grow lights downstairs in the basement. So consequently, the leaves on these plants don't have the uh, photoreceptors uh, required to withstand the... Uh, the energy of the sun that's coming down the light so we're helping them out got this burlap shade cloth that's over the top of this so it filters the light a little bit and then uh, as these plants get used to the outdoors I'll be taking that cloth off I've just got it held on with these clips these speed clips I've got four, uh, one for each corner. As for the burlap, it's not, uh, wasn't too expensive. I think about ten dollars for the roll, and uh, it's got a variety of uses. You know, I can use it as shade cloth, like I'm doing now, but you can also use it as a, a weed barrier to suppress weeds. You can also cut strips and lay it on top of a where you're trying to sprout seeds so that they don't wash away so um we'll see what we can what we can do with that it'll probably take a good uh week or two for these seedlings to get used again get used to the sunlight and then I'll have them out in full sun and by then the weather should be a little warmer and we can start planting them out into the beds. I've got uh, it's cabbage, kohlrabi, and uh, broccoli is what I've got in the cold frame. I've got some kale in the basement but it's not ready to come out yet. It's not big enough. I'm also planning on um, If I've got time today, plant out my onions. Around the end of March is the time to do this stuff. Uh, cold weather crops of peas, uh, onions, uh, the early onions, and the uh, brassica coal crops here. So we'll see what we can get going, but uh, I guess that's it for now. Until next time, happy gardening. Bye.